Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm stoked you're here. I want to take just a quick second and thank the channel members. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate every single one of you. And I want to welcome any of you that are coming by for the first time, or if you haven't had a chance yet, and you like EDC content, and like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon next to it. Notify you when I release new content and it'll really help the channel out. So today I wanted to talk about my top fixed blades or EDC fixed blades that are, I didn't know how to really put this in the title, but sheep's footy worn cliffy utility cutting type of knives, right? Um, not necessarily to process big bellies and a lot of cardboard, but just some of these knives that are going to have more of a point that means business that you can easily get down on material. Um, you can make those detail cuts and those utility cuts and, um, you know, knives, not unlike this Kaiser or unlike this artisan cutlery, um, sea snake, or like one of my faves overall, the, uh, null knives, uh, squall. I've got five knives that I wanted to go through that I reach for when I'm looking for an EDC knife that's going to be my fixie that I want to have that utilitarian application, right? I want to have a tip. I want to be able to cut with it. I want to be able to draw cut with it. I want to be able to just, you know, basically get down the material that I need to get down with on and, uh, one that comes into mind that's going to be number five on this list is my Bradford uh, G Cleaver, which is kind of like the G Necker, but it's the G Cleaver. Even though I look at this as a very pronounced Warncliffe um, blade with a really acute, sharp little tip there. It's a splitter remover. Um, I love the tip on this knife, guys. This is LMAX in their Natrix finish, which is kind of a blackened stone wash. It's just a solid chunk of LMAX, and it's thicker in the handle. The balance is a little bit, not weird, but different. So here at the butt of the knife, we're at 0.25. And up here at the blade, center of the blade, we're at 0.14. Back of the blade, 0.16. Front of the blade, 0.12. So, you know, it's kind of got a unique, just, I mean, it, it's, it's done for a reason, right? I mean, it's a planned out balance, but it's, it's unique. And I think it's because the way that this knife's designed is to really accentuate that tip. So when I look at my top five Warncliffe Sheep's Footy EDC fixed blade knives, the Bradford G Cleaver is a winner. I love this knife. It's made right here in America. It's a solid little chunk of LMAX. It's got an ulti clip that I put on it that I really like. Um, I can carry that in my back pocket, which is the way I usually carry it. But just a little chunk of a knife. I can't imagine ever putting paracord on this. Um, it would be nice if they made some little scales, but I don't know how it would work out because where your fingers kind of dictated to go, you don't have a lot more room than you're given with that little chunk of LMAX. So that'll be number five of my uh, my favorite Warren's Clippy Sheep's Footy blade. So go into number four. It's a unique knife from Italy and the Maniago Italy guys. And I don't know where Fox Knives starts, Vox Knives, in, Viper Knives ends. Um, Mercury knife starts, but they're all kind of over there in Maniago, Italy. This is a Mercury knives. It is the Cali, K A L I, and it is in 690. But I was trying to see, and Zan or Zan is the designer. But guys, this is a killer little budget. When I say budget, value conscious. Um, sheep's foot blade they make it also in a um, 
clip point. I wasn't real crazy about the clip point. It really looks a little odd to me, but it might be something that I eventually go back and get because they're still in stock at White Mountain Knives. And these little guys are right around $80 before you put in your 10% discount, which brings them, you know, under 75 bucks. Comes with this little leather slip that has a clip built into it. You know, it's not the nicest leather slip sheath, so to speak, but it definitely gets the job done and retains the knife so you can carry it. But it has these really nice, heavy, not heavy, but thick micarta handles. I'm going to rank those probably around a quarter of an inch, I'm going to guess. About 0.13. It's a really nice little chunky uh, sheep's foot blade. It's got a little bit of belly here, so you can roll through cuts if you want to. Uh, it is just N690. It does have a little weird branding there. Um, Maniago, Italy, blah, 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 you know, so there is that. But again, it's a very, what I consider a good value for a very small EDC knife. This guy is... Um, Gosh, I want to say it's under six inches. Full tank construction, and it's right under five and three quarters. So a good bit under six inches. But that is my number four, uh, Warren's Cliffy Sheep's Footy EDC Small Fixed Blade. And that is the Mercury Knives from over in Italy, Cali. So as we move on, we come to a really cool knife in my collection. If it was a little bit which is weird for me to say this, but just a little bit bigger, it'd be even more awesome. I'd love to see this in a larger model. This is the Superlative Knives Hella, H-E-L-L-A. I love the Hella sheath or slip, whatever you want to call this little thin thing, because when I first saw this knife, this is kind of what attracted me to it. It comes in either micarta or it comes in this... Uh, carbon fiber or you can get it totally skeletonized it's got a lanyard hole here on the back this is just a little chunk of m390 it's done very 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 well um, just a great little forward facing sheep's foot blade that will really dig into those detail cuts and really get you what you need out of those small cuts whether it's opening packages or it's processing you know, um, anything that you're going to use a tip for, right? And you want to have it close to, the, close to the surface or to your tabletop where you're working. And just have a knife that really doesn't take up a whole lot of room. You know, it's, it doesn't, you don't want it to print too much, so to speak. So this knife, when you get it sheathed up, you can drop it right in your back pocket. Um, if you wanted to put a lanyard on it, you could. If you wanted to put it in your left pocket, you could. Um, you know, it doesn't give you all those options, but if you wanted to get somebody to make you a Kydex sheath, you could. Again, this sheath is what attracted me to this knife. It's hella thin. It's hella easy to carry. And it's my number three main knife in my uh, go-to sheep's footy fixed bladies. So we're going to roll, roll with this, and we're going to go to number two. And number two comes to us, again, from Italy. And it's MKM this time, MKM Knife Makers. And this is the Vox Macra 2. They've got a Macra 1 and a Macra 2. The Macra 1 is a drop point. The Macra 2 is this sheep's foot, this reverse tanto. Super nice little full tang chunk of M390 with a nice little place to put a lanyard there if you wanted to. You have replaceable micarta scales. They have other materials that you can choose if you wanted to upgrade this or change it out. Of course, that's not something I'm interested in. You could also take these off and run this knife skeletonized. They do sell a skeletonized version of it with no uh, scales whatsoever, but it's a thin knife that fits my hand like an absolute glove. If I take this knife and I take my number five knife, there is no comparison to how these two knives feel in the hand. The MKM Macra 2 is a dream knife. 
It feels great. I absolutely love it. It's very thin. It's very easy to carry. It gets the job done. I love this little sheath that it comes with that allows you to drop it in your back pocket. Let this pop over your jeans or over your khakis to give you that retention. And there you are. You've got a great little sheath. And I've also got Kydex carry kits for this. But coming in at number, we're going to call this one three again. It's the uh, MKM Macro 2. Number two slash one slash number two is going to be yet another knife from Italy. It is the Viper Knives Vox Design Lily 2. So I've got the Lily 1, which is a big belly drop point, and I've got the Lily 2, which is the sheep's foot design. Guys, in terms of overall ergos in the knife, this knife is so well thought out. It's got these Arctic carbon fiber scales that on your choil here, which is built into the handle for your hand, you've got this little bit of light jimping, and then you've got this little bit of jimping here, but it's just sharp enough to catch your finger, even before you get to this little poon, so to speak. You've got this super clean swedge that comes down towards that point, and you've got that nice point that comes into contact with the material, really in a comfortable grip. If I wanted to, I could choke back on this knife. I don't know why in God's name I would. I like to choke up on it right here. It's a little hunk of Full Tang L Max. I absolutely love it, guys. It's got some of the best ergonomics of any knife just like the lily one the lily two aims to please and i think viper knives and um, vox nez hit it out of the park with the lily one and the lily two comes with this kydex sheath where you've got great retention and it comes with this branded ulti clip to keep the sheath retained it's one of the few that i've kept on there which brings me to my number one most wicked, worn cliffy, sheathy, needing a sheathy cleaver. And it is my Jason Grant, J. Cal, mean street cleaver. This is a knife that Jason had for sale on Instagram that he built kind of just out of his mind, right? Jason will start with a J. Cal handle, and this is actually a medium J. Cal handle. So it's going to come in just for S and G's at right about four inches. So that's four inches from here to here. So I can get a full grip on that knife. But it's this deep, deep, wicked hollow grind where you can actually feel the hand lines, the, the belt lines in that, in that steel. You've got this super robust, pointy, robust, duh, very pointy, pokey, stabby tip almost perfectly flat blade just a little bit of roll up the tip and i mean just a comfortable knife and if you're talking about a knife where you're going to have to do some detail work where you want to use a knife in a pinch grip to cut out jigsaw puzzle pieces out of a piece of paper or cut something out of aluminum foil anything like that anything that you could need to make a straight cut with you're going to be able to do it very efficiently and very comfortably with this little J. Cal, what I call the mean street cleaver. Um, it kind of looks like an angry uh, duck or something because the way Jason finished it is he did this black bluing acid etching and then he tumbled it and then he came back and he ground out the blade. Um, it's got these super, super nice my car to handles that are left look pretty much traditional old school my car to, or g10 pin right there g10 lanyard tube and just a fantastic j cal i've got three j cals guys i'm getting ready to do a video on my newest j cal and i'll probably show the size differences of this and the others but when we're talking about edc fixed blade knives that are worn cliffy or sheep's footy, meaning knives that are going to have that point, but they're not going to have a lot of belly. They might not be the best for processing a lot of cardboard, 
but for making those daily cuts and it's just a good EDC knife, they, they do a fantastic job. They're up for the challenge, right? So these knives that I've shared with you guys today are going to total more than five because as you know, I can't count very good. And the reason the J-Cal did not get more love is it's my own slackness that has not sent this to Joe at Lancelot Leather to get a proper sheath made for it where I can carry it more and run it through the mill. Um, just like my other J-Cal, I've got them in sheaths that work. I keep it in this top sheath, which gives it retention, but it doesn't give it the retention that makes me want to carry it for a day and a half, right? But guys, those are the knives that I think of when I'm thinking Warncliffe, Sheep's Foot, something in a fixed blade variety that's not going to have a lot of belly, that's going to give me that straight edge that I know is going to stand up to anything I throw at it, and I'll enjoy carrying Guys, it has been a pleasure sharing this with you. I'll never get all these in frame, so I'm not even going to try. But uh, it's been a blast. I was hoping this video would stay under 10 minutes, but I had a feeling it wouldn't. I'll try to keep it quick by thanking you all again, welcoming you anytime. I'd love to see you at a Friday night flick sometime if you haven't had a chance. Come by any Friday night, 8.30 Central Time till about midnight. And please, look out for the guy or gal to your left. Look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.